Hey everybody, my name is Sean Gerke and this is my week one screencast for our form processing assignment. Um, basically, I'm just going to kind of go over my index.html and then that sends us off to new user.php. Um, maybe go into a little bit of styling, but um, only got about two to three minutes, so I'm going to get right into it. Uh, basically, this is a pretty common or pretty standard HTML here. Um, I'm just sending all this information, all the information from the name into my, where is it, new user.php right here. So everything here is pretty pretty standard. Um, I didn't do anything crazy here. Let me just refresh this and um, just put an image there and I just did some, some CSS externally. So that sends that off, uh, off to a post request and it goes over to uh, new user.php. The first thing I did in here was create a result array. Um, so instead of having to access this all the time, um, I just went ahead and created an array. So inside of the array, everything is in here. Now the, this right here, the password, um, I just used the MD5. Um, I did try to use this, but the string was so long, it was salted, um, and it, whatever, it just didn't fit in with what I was doing right here. So um, I just did the MD5 here. Um, the next thing I go and do is make sure that the form is submitted. So um, if it's not submitted, um, I don't have an else on here at this time. But you know, this is just making sure that there was a submit. Um, if you go ahead and refresh my site, it will just display nothing. Um, so then after I'm inside of this, if the submit variable is in the post, um, then I, I go ahead and create the variable data. Uh, of all the the results um, instead of having to go and use post submit or post you know first name whatever whatever the key is um, then yeah, data is much easier to use so um, after that I go and upload the image so I take that image whatever they put into the images here so the avatar where's the avatar at it's not in there so this kind of creates the avatar and whatever the path is um, uploads it, uploads it, and then this checks to make sure that I have it. So if it's there, then I create a another variable called type, um, and then I, one called image. So the image one actually is is the named image. Um, it will be the link to it. Um, the type is used later. So if type is created, basically I take the substring, the last four of the, of the type. Um, to make sure what the kind, what file type it is. So if it's a .pdf or .gif, um, it will not work. So here's the conditional for that. So if type equals any one of these, this one or this one or this one, um, it will display this message. Now it's not going to display it here, but it will um, make the variable message for that. Um, so if not, it, it creates the the bad image and then sends off this one, which it will be in the color red. Um, beyond that, uh, this is just a center table. It could have been a div. Um, I kind of tried to go off of what the teacher did with the table, and it worked to a certain degree, but I went ahead and changed my table to um, have some labels in it, and then I formatted it that way. So this really isn't appropriate or, or necessary for me, but it's there. So um, the first thing that I went and did, and uh, here I went and, and did a custom message saying, you know, data first name. So the data is created already. Later I go through a for loop, but here data is, is accessible. So um, I use the first name right in the header, and then I echo whatever message um, is needed. So from up here I'm echoing that message. Um, so then I go ahead and echo the image, whatever image comes back. So according to whatever the type is, um, I echo a different image. So it could be this one, or if it's accepted, or if it's a true value, it would return their image itself. Um, then I go ahead and run the for, for each loop. Um, and this is with the key value pair. So the key value here and the value here. So I, I did this, this is where I was talking before, I did this with a label and a, and a P tag, uh, just to make everything line up a little bit better. Um, I couldn't get the table in, in rows to, to line up the way I wanted to, so this is, this is my alternative to that. Um, so now I'm going to actually go through and show you what my site turned out to be. So 
So let's back out of this actually. All right. So I'll enter my name. Obviously, I've been through this before a thousand times, <laughs> like everyone else has. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a PDF file. Um, let's do that one's fine. All right, and there's the PDF, and let's submit it. And welcome, Sean, but your account has been created. I'm sorry, your account has been created, but your image needs to be a JPEG or PNG. Um, but look at here, everything came through just fine. This is a encrypted password, and you created a user, and you get this X saying, hey, you don't have an image. Um, so let's back up a little bit, reset the form. I'm actually even going to refresh the page. And let's do, let's do Bo Jackson, why not? And then here we're going to actually do a JPEG, and this can be, let's do a black and white one, and submit that. And now we have a black and white image. We have the image, and Bo Jackson's B Jack is created, and here's the password. And it's um, an encrypted password, and you have successfully created a new user. So also, here's a custom welcome Bo, so it does the same thing with the, with the name here. So, um, a lot of things to learn this week. We, we definitely went through a lot of stuff, a lot more to learn. I want to learn a, bit, a little bit more about the salting and encrypting passwords. I think that was pretty cool. Um, let me get back into code a little bit. Um, and then error returning. I think uh, something that we're probably going to go through next week, but haven't gone. I hadn't checked. Um, that's something that I was looking forward to doing. Also, I messed around a little bit with redirects and doing the the header and stuff, um, but when I changed the header or, or called for the header up at the top, um, whenever I tried to do a redirect, obviously the header was already created. So I'm going to have to look a little bit farther into how to make that happen. But this is my week one assignment. I hope you, uh, you guys all had fun with yours and um, enjoyed my video. Thank you.